What are cosine losses in rocketry, and why should I avoid them? To explain this, I'm going to start by building out a rocket. But instead of attaching an engine at the bottom, I'm instead going to attach four engines to the sides. Now, let's take a look at our delta V. To start with, it is 3,850 meters per second. But now, watch what happens as we change the angle of the engines using the rotation tool. As we rotate it, our total delta V drops all the way down to zero when it is pointed directly inward. Consequently, our thrust also drops too. We can determine exactly how much it will change by looking at the cosine of the angle we point the engine to, hence the name cosine losses. So before you point your engines all the way inwards and lose all your delta V, you should ask yourself,